that'll be enough of this for me now. I'm off home now. But first, I need to do a quick shop for mum. To the shop. Hiya, Lucy Lou. How are you doing sis? I'm fine thanks, Artie. I was just on my way home, but not before I picked up the items on mum's bucket list. I mean shopping list. Good save there. And well done for remembering your promise to mum to do this little food shop. Thank you. I best get on now. I'll see you at home. See you at home, sweet sister. I love you. I love you too, dear brother. See you at home. Hello Lucy, how are you doing, my ultimate bestie? I'm good thanks, Lilinatrix. How are you? I'm good thanks, just here to do some shopping for my dad. What a coincidence. I'm here to do some shopping for my mom. Talk about uncanny. Yeah, it is quite unusual for two best friends to be in the same place, at the same time, and doing the same thing but for the opposite parent. In your case it's for your mom, and in mine, it's for my dad. Thank you for doing this, Lucy. I really appreciate it. Did you get something for yourself as well? Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Besides, I did it with no strings attached. Nothing was expected in return. I know, darling. I might have wanted to buy you something in return. Anyway, I heard you ran into Lily at the shop. Yes, I did. She was there to do a small food shop for Jane's. It was uncanny. It might have been a bit coincidental for you both to have been there at the same time doing the same thing, but it wasn't uncanny. This is going to blow your mind. But people shop there all the time. All at the same time. Well, I didn't know everyone shopped at the same time. What kind of time travel paradox is at play here? Consider my mind blown. 